Greetings. Satire is something that is very fascinating to me. I've written a lot of it myself. I find satire to be a very creative endeavor and I enjoy reading satire, I enjoy listening to satire. So it's something I want in life. I've been examining virtually every angle possible of Westboro Baptist Church. Certainly their core premise, their approach to the world is entirely flawed. So the question is, if we want to do what is best, do we focus on following Westboro Baptist Church or doing the opposite? If their logic is sound, if their premises are false, then by following their false premises with correct logic, we're going to get to false endings. So does satire logically stem from the approach to the world that they have? I really hope it doesn't. I do see virtue in satire. I think it's a great way to showcase the problems of the world. But is that inherently bad? I have wondered whether it's spiritually sound to engage in satire. After all, spirituality involves doing what's best for people, having a good heart, caring for people. So does satire fit in that? Westboro Baptist Church is about mocking and scoffing the world and pointing out its flaws all day and all night. So satire definitely fits in with what they do. Now, just because they do something doesn't make it wrong automatically. For example, Peter Singer presented this argument in defense of animal rights. Some people have pointed out that Hitler was a vegetarian. So Peter Singer said, just because Hitler was a vegetarian, that doesn't mean vegetarianism is wrong since after all, Hitler had a nose, and that doesn't mean if we want to be the opposite of Hitler, we're going to chop off our nose. Likewise, as much as what Westboro Baptist Church does is wrong, there could be certain things they are doing correctly. I've noted in other videos that sometimes they have part of it right and part of it wrong, like I mentioned the iconoclasm. Iconoclasm is a good thing when done correctly, but unfortunately when it's merged with hate, it is a bad thing. Iconoclasm with wisdom is a good thing. Now, how does that work with satire? The point of their satire is to spread hate. So satire twisted with hate is a bad thing. Other people have satire for different purposes. For example, take someone like Weird Al Yankovic. He has satire all the time, but it's not to spread hate. It's to be silly make jokes, and also make cultural criticisms and comments from time to time. So is their satire problematic? I certainly think there is a problem with the way that they do satire, though I do admit they are very creative in the way they use satire. Now the law of attraction definitely applies here, like I mentioned in another video on the Law of Attraction, Westboro Baptist Church is a perfect example of how not to follow the Law of Attraction. The Law of Attraction, as the spiritual people put it, states something along the lines, the exact statement of it varies according to who's saying it, but generally it's something along the lines as what you think about and put your energy into expands. I think Michael Logier was the author who put it that way. So Westboro Baptist Church are putting their energy into things they don't want in their life. They're putting their energy into homosexuality, they're anti this, they're anti that. Like people always say, what are you for? you got to be pro something. But people like Michael Lozier and other people who advocate the law of attraction state, you should state everything in the positive. They, they're Westboro Baptist Church is anti this, anti against that. Picketing, like I've noted, is a perfect way to always show what you're against. Against, against, against. And that's what people say to picketers all the time, whether you're picketing the Westboro way or other people. Like, what are you for? Why are you against this? Why not be positive? Why not be proactive? Why not stand for something? I think picketing is not inherently wrong. The way Westboro Baptist Church does it is troublesome, but it, when done correctly, I think it is right. And likewise, I think satire is the same way. 
it is perfectly legitimate to use satire to make points. It is perfectly legitimate to use satire to convince people of certain things. It is perfectly legitimate to use satire to make the world a better place. But the purpose behind satire should not be hate. So the problem probably is hate twisted with satire. Even creative hate is a problem. It is very possible that satire may be inherently wrong. It's a question I haven't totally answered myself. Now, I personally don't want to believe this. I want satire to be valid. I've written a whole lot of satire in my life, and I love satire like little else when I read it or listen to it. So let us hope that satire in and of itself is not inherently wrong, just the way people like Westboro Baptist Church use it.